Uh, it's great to be here at the BlockSec conference in 2020. I'm here to talk about Horizon and some of the opportunities for people that want to build their own blockchains and specifically for software developers. I'm Rolf Versluis, one of the co-founders of Horizon. When we launched a little over three years ago, we were known as Zen Cash. And we've got a lot going on. I'm going to give a little bit of an overview of Horizon, not much. I'm going to talk mostly about how to build a customized decentralized application on Horizon. And some of this information was from our webinar in early September of 2020. And I'm just going to give an overview of it. You can see the replay of the complete webinar and join future ones if you go to Horizon with an E dot IO. So what we've got is something new and different in the cryptocurrency industry. It is a way to do a side chain, which is, I'll talk about it more, but it's a complete blockchain in a decentralized way. And the key to that is the Zendu cross-chain transfer protocol, which we've had under development for over two years now by our team of software developers. And it's a unique way using zero knowledge proofs to generate transfers to the side chain and then have the ability to transfer funds back to the main chain as well in a backwards transfer. And so doing this, it allows something very different where the side chains can operate independently of the main chain. All they have to do is follow the cross-chain transfer protocol. The main chain does not need to know what the side chains are doing. So what is a side chain? Well, think about it. It's, it's a full up blockchain, but instead of having to go through the process of launching a project through an ICO or whatever, or creating it, uh, and then getting listed on an exchange and doing all that other kind of stuff. Zen is already listed on exchange, already has lots of wallets and supporters. And the main chain for Horizon is actually a proof of work main chain. That's very similar to Bitcoin. It's uh, based off the Zcash code base. So for people that just want to create customized decentralized applications, a sidechain is a perfect way to do that. And it's, it's designed for specific use cases. And some examples of what you could do with a sidechain, one of the things that we're going to do, uh, the Zen Blockchain Foundation, the, the software developers that uh, are behind the sidechains and maintain Horizon, uh, is to create a governance system with voting because we want to be a fully decentralized organization and to be able to have stakeholders vote on decisions in the community. That's been part of our design from the very beginning. Someone can develop a lottery or a game of chance and operate that on the side chain, and they can set it up in such a way that it doesn't look like a typical blockchain application with a wallet and transactions. It can look more like a game. And the game of chance, the coin of the realm, as it were, would be the Zen, which is traded on multiple exchanges and, and has a value. I think a great application is a rapid payment application, uh, kind of like a cash app or Venmo or something like that. So the side chain can operate with much faster blocks in a proof of stake environment. So you could transfer Zen from the main chain over to the rapid payment application and use that for small quick payments with people. You could set up uh, registries where you could uh, register items, whether they're uh, digital items like, I don't know, a copy of uh, your driver's license or your certifications uh, in the software industry or something like that, or maybe a pet registry or different things like that. And then use the side chain to transfer ownership, to do payment, to do escrow, to do all the other things that you'd want to be able to do in a standalone blockchain application that takes advantages of all the different aspects of blockchain, decentralization, uh, people being able to, for example, if you vote, having a zero knowledge proof system, so it's shielded transactions for the voting, so private voting, uh, but you can verify the blockchain to make sure your vote was counted, things like that. So blockchains are, are great for uh, multiple parties coming together uh, and being able to do activity and then verify it. Now, we've been developing the sidechain for a while. You can go to our website at horizon.io. You can see the progression of the white papers that were authored by our chief architect, Alberto Garofalo, in some cases uh, working with scientists from IOHK uh, and other organizations. In October 2019, uh, another white paper talking about a blockchain platform for fully customized decentralized applications. So we took this from a, a general sidechain, like many other organizations use sidechain, just to be a second layer for the main chain to offload the, the main chain, which we're doing, but we're taking it a step further to be a generalized, decentralized application platform. And then earlier in 2020, 
the Zendu cross-chain transfer protocol. So this uses some of the most advanced zero-knowledge proof technology out there, uh, recursive ZK snarks, to create the forward transfer certificate. And then those signatures can then be used to verify the back, backwards transfer. And in every other type of sidechain implementation so far that I know of, those backward transfers have to be signed by a trusted set of signers. So this Zendu cross-chain transfer protocol is the first way to do it that is decentralized, that doesn't require trusted signers on the sidechain. Of course, the problem with trusted signers on a sidechain is they could take control of a sidechain. So uh, this is a big deal. Now, uh, just a little bit about Horizon. We're on the fundamental crypto asset score, which is uh, maintained and monitored by Flipside Crypto. Zen's got a pretty high rating, uh, really one of the top 10 industry projects using their rating methodology, which is based on developer behavior tied into the GitHub, user activity, and market maturity. So user activity, number of people doing transactions, wallets, things like that. And the market maturity is um, the different exchanges, how much is traded, uh, how long it's been around, uh, that kind of stuff. And we've got a decent sized team, just like a small organization. And this is the team of the Zen Blockchain Foundation and the different contracting organizations that the Zen Blockchain Foundation hires to distribute the treasury funds, which comes from each of the block every two and a half minutes. So we've got folks that run the infrastructure operations, business development, marketing. These beautiful slides come from our graphic artists and then product and engineering people. So we're a serious organization that has been in existence for well over three years now. And it takes a while to build a team and it takes a while to build good software. We're delivering that software now. Right now, our Zendu sidechains are on our test net and we're looking at taking them to the main chain in early 2021. So uh, one of my co-founders, you know, Rob Biglioni, he's the team lead. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to work with Rob, has uh, a lot of background in finance, in crypto, in mathematics. He's uh, really the leader and visionary on a lot of these different things, and I'm proud to be able to work with him. I've got some small business experience and technology experience um, and some information technology experience uh, from a company that I founded and owned in Atlanta, and we sold it after 14 years of operation. Horizon is a Major League Hacking sponsor. Here's a, a screenshot of one of the recent Major League Hacking um, programs that we were part of. We're going to continue to do that in the future because by having the sidechain and the sidechain development kit and sidechain applications, in addition to people that are interested in mining and uh, hosting nodes and being part of uh, payments and shielded payments and private payments, th different things like that, now we're working to appeal to software developers. And the software development kit is designed first to work in Java. And there's a lot of people that are experienced Java software developers there. And so we're reaching out to people that aren't normally in the crypto industry and working to bring them into the crypto industry to develop blockchain applications. And I told you some of these slides were from the recent webinar. I didn't speak on the webinar, uh, but our engineering director and uh, chief architect, Alberto, did, uh, as well as our senior software engineer, Alexander. Uh, Luca Cermelli is our project manager, and Rob Bigley and I, of course, spoke on that webinar. You can see the replay of that and, and sign up for future webinars. So here's a big picture overview of how the sidechain works. And it's multiple sidechains. So it's going to be a permissionless environment where anybody, don't, you don't need permission to develop a side chain and launch it on the Horizon main chain. You just create a transaction that creates that side chain. And in creating that side chain, it also sets it up in such a way that the creator and developer of the side chain is able to uh, create the side chain in such a way to have a small percentage of each of the uh, forward transfers get paid to the developer of the side chain. So we've really thought about the economic model of long-term operation of people that are designing uh, applications on this. And um, so, you know, it doesn't require a pre-mine or a developer fund or anything like that. The more popular the chain is, the more the developer uh, gets, gets paid to use it as funds get transferred to the side chain. And these side chains, they're implemented as actual blockchains with their own logic and data. So with the Zendu 
cross-chain transfer protocol, really it's defined on the main chain because this has to be defined on the main chain. That way you can have, once the Zendu protocol is fully implemented on the main chain, we can have a stable uh, main chain that many different nodes around the world operate, many different uh, people operate the, the node software, and then all the experimentation can be done on the side chains. And that way you can get rapid experimentation, uh, you can get, um, and you can design the side chain. So even though the, the blocks on the main chain are only done every two and a half minutes, you could, for example, create a proof of stake based side chain that has blocks every 10 to 15 seconds for rapid payments. So the two main things that are the Zendu are the transfer, the forward transfer from main chain to side chain, and then the backward transfer from side chain to main chain. And we have a software development kit that we've created in order to make it easy for people to uh, develop their own blockchains. And then obviously a large part of that is documentation and training. So we're going through and have already created a bunch of documentation on introducing people to blockchain. We have the Horizon Blockchain Academy actually that has beginner, intermediate and advanced uh, blockchain information on it. Uh, and it's, it's oriented of course towards Horizon which is a general purpose blockchain based upon uh, Bitcoin, but it also extends into the proof of stake type uh, side chains that we're doing as well. So the forward transfers, uh, I'm going to dig into this a little bit more. The specifics on the forward transfer is they transfer to a main chain and it transfers to a specific user address on a specific side chain as well as an amount that's transferred. And they're not available anymore on the main chain. It's not like they're locked in a multi-sig contract. They're actually burned, but there's a special transaction that's created saying that an equivalent amount of Zen is allowed to come back to the main chain. And the side chain are aware of these transfers because all the side chains follows the Zen main chain block. And of course, there's protections in there to make sure that you can't transfer more Zen from a specific side chain back to the main chain than was sent to the side chain in the first place. We don't want to be able to uh, mint Zen out of nothing. And that's on the backward transfer side. So they're initiated in the side chain and propagated to the regular main chain. And this is done, uh, not every block, but in epochs uh, for you British speaking people, epochs. But uh, during, during there's a epoch that each of these um, transactions are gathered up in on the side chain and then they're transferred to the main chain. So uh, again, specifically, it does the side chain to main chain transfer does not use a trusted party because that would lead to centralization. So the solution to being able to transfer back to the main chain from the side chain is to use SNARKs. So zero knowledge proofs, uh, a specific kind is the, the SNARK. It's a succinct proof of validity of the backward transfer. And it's specifically done as a recursive SNARK because when you create the side chain, it's created with a specific snark verification key. So the side chain logic doesn't matter. It can, you can run a completely different type of blockchain on the side chain than on the main chain. And that's okay, as long as it follows the cross chain transfer protocol rules in its interaction with the main chain. So here's a complete uh, interaction overview. For example, it, it demonstrates uh, SC for the side chain, MC for the main chain. And so we'll do from the main chain, we'll do a forward transfer to the side chain. There'll be custom transactions on the side chain. And then at the end of the withdrawal epoch number one, there'll be a transfer from the side chain back to the main chain signed with a specific certificate. Then we'll go through another epoch. And you know, it's, it's listing five blocks here, for example, but there could be many more blocks in an epic. Uh, it's just there has to be more blocks uh, in the side chain per main chain block. There, there can't be less overall blocks just from the way it's viewed. So all these custom transactions that happen on the side chain, main chain doesn't need to know about that. Main chain only needs to know when there's a withdrawal that's gathered up into the certificate and transferred back to the main chain. So let's talk a little bit about the software development kit. So we have a software development kit that's available on our GitHub. Uh, there are also libraries that can be imported into popular 
uh, popular Java IDEs like um, IntelliJ ID and, and things like that. And, and they do some of the typical things that you'd want to create when you're doing your own blockchain, a consensus, a network layer, transactions, a basic wallet. And we're going to talk about the specific sidechain in our uh, Lambo app, uh, Lambo registry. Some of our developers are in Milan and they like Lamborghinis. So they figured we're all going to have Lamborghinis and they, they want to create a Lambo registry. And they use that as the example uh, in uh, the webinar series. And we'll talk about it a little bit here. So that blockchain that they use is uh, the Ouroboros Prowls uh, proof of stake system. It was developed by IOHK. Uh, it's similar to the one that's used in Cardano. You all might be familiar with that. Uh, and IOHK has also developed a smart contracting uh, language add-on that can be used in conjunction with this called Plutus. So when people ask the question, are you going to be able to do smart contracts on here? Well, the big picture answer is you can build the side chain any way you want. However, the way that we are going to show you how to, to build it, it can have custom transactions and we'll be able to add on smart contracting language. The other nice thing about using the Ouroboros Prowess proof of stake is that there's other organizations like IOHK that develop block explorers, wallet applications, libraries, and things like that. So we take advantage of some of the other work that's done in this space. Now here, we're going to talk about the Lambo registry. And it's an example showing the common development path of an application. And uh, again, I encourage you to sign up for the webinar series. If you, if you watch it live, you can, of course, ask questions and things like that. And you can certainly watch the replays of it that we're going to post at our website. And it's a, a sidechain for exchanging the ownership of cars. It starts out as a MVP, a minimum viable product. And just uh, saying, I have ownership of this car. Here's the VIN number. And I'm going to put it for sale. And then we're going to transfer Zen to that sidechain, pay for the Lambo, and then the seller transfers the Zen back to the main chain. So that's a good example. Obviously, a real car registry would need other features, and we'll add these on in time. Uh, and, and a car is represented as sort of um, a UTXO, or a, uh, a transaction output. And it, it contains much more than the VIN, uh, of course, whatever you'd put in a car and, and, and car registry. And the coins are represented by different boxes on the chain. So here, we, this is a very similar uh, drawing to the one we showed before, but this is specifically for the Lambo registry. So using the interface to the sidechain application. So there, there's going to be special application interfaces for the sidechains. So a user declares a car, and then um, user B wants to use Zen. Um, I'm not sure what the trading price on the exchanges right now of Zen is, but they, they transferred the appropriate amount of Zen into their own wallet on the side chain. And then the owner of the car creates a sell transaction. The buyer sends Zen on the side chain to the seller. Now that the car is owned by the buyer, the seller has funds in Zen and they want to take that out and I don't know, pay taxes on it, whatever. Uh, they don't need to keep their Zen on the side chain. They can transfer it back to the main chain. And uh, you start to have multiple people using these. And this is a great example, but you can also say, what other types of things can we do with a registry type side chain? What other things might people want to put on the registry that they can transfer um, and be able to demonstrate in a blockchain, which once the transaction happens, it's, it's immutable. Now, it's a proof of stake blockchain, so there's going to be block forgers on there that have staked Zen to forge blocks, and they have you know slash penalties and other things like that, that uh, everything is done in a proof of stake uh, blockchain. Nice thing about Ouroboros is it's a mathematically proven uh, secure proof of stake blockchain. Okay, so that was just a highlight. Uh, for the Horizon developer community, we have a lot of different things. Come to the Horizon website and see what it's about. We have the Early Adopter Program, so sign up for the HEAP, <laughs> the uh, Horizon Early Adopter Program, um, and you're able to see these um, webinars. You're able to get access to, uh, we want to have people that develop sidechains, so we have people that work with the folks that sign up to HEAP to provide that type of support when they have questions or uh, find problems, because uh, it's software. There's, there's always problems that, that 
you get found. That's why we're going to run it in testnet for a while before we go to mainnet. We also have the Horizon Developer Environment where we have different tasks that need to be done on all the different uh, software packages that Horizon has, and we post bounties. So we post bounties and say, you know, if you do this task, and not all, the, not all of it's a software development, some of it's documentation, other things like that, but if you sign up to do this task and then you do this task, we'll pay you a bounty. I pay you a bounty in Zen, of course, but those are things that we do that we're encouraging to get software developers who may or may not be already in the uh, cryptocurrency space or blockchain space to learn, work with us, and create blockchain applications on your own. So some of the tools used in this webinar, uh, you can find the sidechain SDK at our GitHub, which is at Horizon Official. Uh, also our demo app there, the Lambo registry app is there. And then we have our, our full up uh, repos and documentation. And so further resources are able to be uh, gained there. We have extensive documentation at docs.horizon.io. So thank you. Appreciate your interest in Horizon as a project. And especially if you're a software developer looking to do things with blockchain technology, encourage you to look at what Horizon has to offer because our sidechain design is unique. There's nothing out there like this that we know of and it isn't on main chain yet, but you can start developing your application right now using our test net. And when we take our cross chain transfer protocol to the Zen main chain, you'll have your application ready to go and you can have one of the first ones that's launched there. So again, this is Rolf for Sluice. Uh, if you have questions, I'll be around. Thanks for your time.